Okay, we're back with part two of the iSpy app tutorial using Funkable, and we are ready for our new screens. Um, we need to add three screens, one that will connect to each of these stars. So let's start with image sprite one. We're going to pretend that this is the kitchen so that when you go in that door, the kitchen's right there. So we're going to add a screen in the top right hand corner here, and we're going to rename it to be kitchen. So that's our first screen that we're going to add. We're going to do two more. Um, and give it a second. It's actually going to take you to the new screen and it should be blank. Good. And now we're going to add another screen. This time the second one will be the living room. Um, and I'm not going to put any spaces in between my uh, room names here. Um, and then I'm going to make my third screen, which is going to be, it was upstairs, so let's make that the bedroom. And I click OK. All right, so now I'm going to go back to screen one. I'm navigating with that drop down up here. And we need to code these sprites so that when they're touched, the new screens we just made will open up. So image sprite one, we want to go to the kitchen. Two, we want to go to the living room. And three, we want to go to the bedroom. So to code, we're gonna go into our blocks category here. And image sprite one is what I'm gonna to wanna to code first. So when it is touched, I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. When image sprite one is touched, I want to control that image sprite by telling it to open another screen name. And the name of that screen is a text box here. We're going to grab this and type in, do you remember what image sprite one was? I'm going to the kitchen. So I need to type it in exactly the way that I named my screen over here. Um, capital and everything. Everything has to match perfectly. I want to do the same thing, so I'm going to right click and duplicate with image sprite 2. So I can change it with the drop down there. This time image sprite 2 is going to the living room and image sprite 3 is going to the bedroom. Okay. So now what you can do if you go back to your designer tab to test your app out, uh, the person who has the tablet, um, so this is the an Android tablet with the Thunkable app installed, you go ahead and open that Thunkable app and it will ask you to scan a QR code. Um, the person on the computer can go to test and Thunkable live and that will give you a QR code. You can go ahead and scan the QR code with your tablet. Um, they have to be on the same wireless network, but if you scan, give it about three or four seconds and then your app will show up on your um, tablet. So test it out and then have a conversation with your partner and talk about what do we need next? What do you think the next step is? Go ahead and pause the video and we will see you back here when you are ready to move on. Okay, so we're ready to do what we need to do next, which is go into the kitchen page or whatever your second page is. And we're going to drag a canvas over because this is where we're gonna have a background image of that room with the items on top of it. And we're gonna do this the same exact way we did on the first page. So our canvas is going to be height and width 280 pixels by 280 pixels. So that's our canvas. And then uh, we need a label underneath it with our question on it. So label is in the user interface category. Drag a label over. And in mine, I have the example, can you spy the item that is not recyclable? Okay, so I have typed that in here. If for some reason your question is so long that it goes beyond the sides of the screen, don't worry about that. When you test your app, you'll see that it wraps. The text will wrap and will be on separate lines. Okay, so I'm gonna make the font size a little bigger and that will do, yep, what I just said. It will go beyond it, but that's all right. Um, and then I'm gonna drag a button over and I'm gonna change the text on the button to say back because I need to make sure that I have a back button on this screen so that it can go back to the home page. Now, one thing that I wish I had um, was some space in between here. So I'm gonna click on label and I'm gonna set the height of that label to be fill parent, which is gonna fill all that empty space uh, with that label, even though there's nothing there. And that pushes my back button to the bottom, which I like that better. So in the next video, what I'm gonna show you how to do is get that background image in your kitchen or whatever your room is and show you how to put the elements on top of it. 
um, and then we'll be ready to do that for the other screens. And then in the final video, I will show you how to add sounds. So let's look forward to that and I will see you in the next video.